September is National Suicide Prevention Month. Tonight there is a new concern for the mental health of firefighters. News 8's Amanda Shotsky spoke with a local fire chief about what might be causing these new concerns and what can be done to help those who are having a hard time. Responding to fires, car crashes, and other emergencies, it is a tough and grueling job, but sometimes the hardest part is asking for help. They're often referred to as heroes on the front lines. There is no greater job that, that I could imagine. Those working in the fire service head into unimaginable situations with a mission to help others. A job that is rewarding, but one that also can take a toll. We're husbands, we're wives, we're brothers, we're sisters, we're fathers, we're mothers. Um, and that we we struggle as well. Rincon Fire Chief Ed Hadfield has been in the industry for 35 years. While he says it's always been a stressful job, this year with the addition of coronavirus, civil unrest, and one of the worst fire seasons in California history, first responders are being pushed to the limit physically and mentally. Our personnel have, have gone from those three uh, enormous uh, all risk factors uh, consecutively without a break. Fire agencies have reported an uptick in the number of personnel with substance use disorders and suicidal behavior. Last year in the U.S., more than 160 firefighters took their own lives. These firefighters believed that this expectation that they could do anything, that they could overcome anything, that they, it, it's a sign of weakness to ask for help. The Rincon Fire Agency has been taking a whole system approach to this issue, closely monitoring its personnel's physical and mental health and providing better access to resources. By speaking out, Chief Hadfield is hoping to spark a dialogue and extinguish the stigma that's kept too many quiet. It's okay not to be okay. You're not alone. If you or someone you know is having a hard time, you are urged to reach out for help. We have placed a link to the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Just click on the story link on our website.